Deep beneath the waves, something is hiding. It's right in front of you, and it's one of nature's most amazing creatures. Can you see it? Take a few seconds to try and find it. And three, two, one. There it is. Let's see that again. Even knowing it's there, this octopus is almost impossible to see. It's like Harry Potter's invisibility cloak in real life. So, how are octopuses such masters of disguise? Around 300 species of octopus live in every ocean on Earth, and every one has the amazing ability to transform. Their disguising secret is in their incredible skin. It's made of elastic cells filled with colored pigments. Each can stretch and shrink to change their size and color at will. It looks trippy up close, but it's like magic in the wild. Thousands of cells all color match themselves to the surroundings. A bit like how individual pixels on a TV create a perfect image on a screen. But octopuses don't stop at simply changing color. They are shapeshifters. The skin can move to form bumps, ridges, spikes and hard edges like the plant life and rocks around them. End result? Now you see me, and now you don't. To evade predators, most octopuses will pull this disappearing trick. But in shallow waters around Southern Asia, there is one that does much more than that. Much more. It scares off predators by impersonating more dangerous creatures. This is the mimic octopus, believed to have a repertoire of at least 15 known aliases. When a hungry grey reef shark swims near, it flattens its body into the shape of a toxic bottom-dwelling fish. Or grows spikes and turns orange and white to look like a lethal lionfish. And they're so intelligent that they know the best aliases to use. Like when faced with a damselfish. They may look cute, but they attack octopuses. So the octopus scares it off by impersonating the damselfish's own predator, a venomous sea snake. The octopus is so good at mimicking, it even tricked us. Scientists didn't know they existed until 20 years ago, even though they've been swimming in plain sight for millennia. The mimic octopus is the undisputed champion of hide-and-seek. Chicago, the Windy City. Home to bears, cubs, and bulls. Come on in. But there's a new team in town, and they're stepping up and taking over. A recent study claims that Chicago is now the rat capital of America. Many believe in all urban areas we're only ever six feet away from one. There's probably one right next to you, right now. But why are we always just a few feet away from a rat? There are 56 species of rat, but the best known and most abundant is the brown rat. Brown rats don't live in the wild. Wherever there are humans, they know they'll find bits of old burger, finger-licked chicken, and the occasional loaded hot dog. Not you, sir and they multiply fast. A female brown rat can produce 12 litters a year, with up to 22 pups each time. Within three months, her babies can produce babies, who also produce babies. Which means a single pair of brown rats can have as many as 100 babies and 2,000 descendants in just one year. But the fact there are so many only partly explains why we're always so close to them. It seems rats can go anywhere. And I mean... anywhere. We've come up with a string of challenges to test just how easy it is for rats to get up close with humans. Meet the challengers, Randy and his rodent buddy, Rocky. 
First test, how small a hole can a rat get through? Incredibly, rats can squeeze through a hole as small as a quarter. The rat's ribs are hinged at the spine, allowing them to temporarily collapse under the pressure. The general rule is, if its head fits, then the body will follow. Better block up those baseboards. Now, will this chasm stop them? Incredible. Rats can jump two and a half feet in the air. That's the equivalent of the average man jumping 11 feet off the ground. Handy for finding food in all those high places. Randy's taking a well-earned breather. But will Rocky take on the high wire challenge? Nice work. Whoa! Rocky nearly fell, but not to worry. He has incredible balance, thanks to his supersized tail. A rat's tail follows a similar principle as a tightrope walker's pole. It works as a counterbalance. If he tips one way, the tail swings in the opposite direction. This balancing technique allows the rat to run across power lines and into your home. Approaching the final curve, Rocky's committing the ultimate phobic nightmare. A rat can scurry up sewer pipes and into your toilet. Rats are excellent swimmers and can tread water for three days. They can even survive being flushed back down because they can hold their breath underwater for three minutes. Rats don't always get a good rap, but when it comes to sniffing out food, there's no home, bathroom, or kitchen that's off limits. Which is why Randy and his agile buddies are always just a few feet away. Lunch is on me, fellas.